Hey guys, and welcome back to Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. I'm Dustin, and today is Thursday, so that means it's mail call day. I'm pretty excited to show you some stickers I've got. We've got quite a few of them this time around, so let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, first one I got today is let's go with. Comes out of Texas. This is from Mac from Small Town Texas Barbecue. Oh man, check these out. Look at that. That's a cool sticker, man. I like that. I like those die cuts. They're pretty neat. He's got the round one. And on the back of it, it says, thank you, Mac. All right. And that's a good looking one. Then we got the, the Texas one. Now he's on my Instagram and my YouTube. If I'm not mistaken, let me look. He has got a major giveaway on his Instagram. And he has given away, I mean, it's an amazing package. Yeah, here it is. Right there. Let's just see. Everything you see right there on that page, he's doing a giveaway. So guys, I'm gonna link everybody's sticker. I, I'm gonna link everybody's channel and page down in my description. So when I get done, I want y'all to go down, follow everyone if you don't already, subscribe to them if you don't already. Because man, I'm telling you what, these are some amazing guys, and they do like this giveaway right here. My girl, that's a that's a major giveaway look at that it's got your gloves it's got your uh, your pork claws bunch of seasoning looks like a looks like a thermo, uh, thermometer there with some rubs that's all right but yeah he's uh get in here and see look at that brisket he's done you see it yeah i mean his page is just full of things like that so definitely get on there and check it out and Mac I really do appreciate it I love those stickers we're gonna get those up on the board here in just a minute appreciate it I would also go and check out his YouTube I'm gonna link his YouTube channel too he uh he's got a lot of good content on there last one I think he went to, he's doing like a review he went to this place man gosh the amount of food he got it looked amazing he does a, he does a real good job so guys just go over there and check him out he's pretty pretty awesome all right, my next one's out of Virginia. Oh, he's got the he's got the sticker on the back of his envelope right there. That's all right. It's gonna be Black Pit Barbecue. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow! Check those out, guys. Look at that. Here's that first one. Man, that's a great looking sticker. That's a that's a great design, man. Great job. Oh. And check that one out. Can you see it? It's got the got the holographic holographic decal. Man, I like that one a lot. That one going up on the board. That one right there is going. Yes, sir. Shoot yeah, man. I really appreciate that. I love these. And, uh, let's see what he, he wrote. Thanks for the support. Black Pit Barbecue. Now that's those are nice. Now he is on my Instagram. Let's see if we can't pull him up right quick. All right, here he is. Check these out. Look at those burgers. And that right there is perfection. Smoke burgers. I have not smoked a burger. I've done the smash burgers. I've saw a lot of people do these smoke burgers, and they absolutely look great. Like just like these. Look at those. Now you can see in the background of his right there. He's got a bunch of stickers already. He's got the patties out. Oops. Man, right there. That right there makes me jealous as I'll get out. I need a meat grinder. Look at that. And I need me a meat grinder. I've, uh, I lucked up. Yesterday at Kroger's, I got a uh, whole Angus beef tenderloin. It was $148, and I got it for $62. I just got to trim it up. And when you trim those things up, you're going to lose a lot of a lot of good meat. And you can still use it for Philly cheesesteaks or whatever, but you can also grind them up make great hamburgers out of and I, i'd like to get me a grinder so but anyhow hey uh man thank you very much i, I really love these we're gonna stick those up there here in just a second all right all right my next one right here coming out of california and it, it's a thank you card so, all right yeah char griller now he's on my youtube channel and he just did a shout out to me. He just got my sticker. So, man, I really appreciate that. 
name of that one was, uh, here it is right here. I've got it pulled up. It says, fan mail from some flounder. Remember Rocky and Bullwinkle? <laughs> hey, buddy, I sure appreciate it. Now, he, he, uh, he does a lot of good cooks on YouTube here. Those, look at those beef short ribs right there. I mean, he has just got tons and tons of stuff. He got his meat slice. He got a surf and turf char griller style. So he does a lot of great content on there. He's just a laid back guy, man. He's sitting in his chair and he's got his little barbecue cooler out and he's all right. So y'all have to go check him out. But man, look at this. Look at that sticker right there. That's it. He's, he's took a picture. There it is. And that's really nice. Buddy, thank you very much. That's gonna, that's gonna be looking good up here in a second. Now his card said, uh, Dustin, thanks for watching. Char Griller, AKA Dave. So Dave, man, I sure appreciate it. We'll get your sticker up here on the board here in just a minute. Thank you. All right, guys, the next one I got right here is coming out of Michigan. It's in a nice card like that. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Oh man, she just sent a bunch of them. I've only, I only sent out one sticker, man. I ain't got many of them. These people are making me feel horrible. But I'm loving it, guys. Look at this. Metal Mama. It says, Tennessee Grilled and Smoking, thank you so much for the uh, follow and the support. Keep up the fantastic work. Stay safe. Metal Mama. All right. Now check her stickers out, man. Look at those. Let's see if it's in there. Look at that design. That don't scream rocker. I don't know what, man. Now she's on my Instagram and she's got it well on the back of it it says follow me. Oops. It says follow me on Instagram at Metal Mama Barbecue. So guys, like she said, get on there and let's follow her. Let's show her some love. Cause she has got some cool things on there. We'll show you here in a second. So she gave me about dang man, one, two, three, four, five, five stickers. Look at that. Those are great. Oh man. But here's look at that. There's a die cut. Love those die cuts. Metal Mama Barbecue. Now that looks great. Look at that. Hey, I'll tell you what. Thank you so much for this. And, uh, she's on the Instagram. And she says she's a foodie rocker chick, mo chicken girl mom from Gladwell, Minnesota. Ah, shoot, I can't talk. Michigan. So, uh, yeah, let's go over here and look at her stuff, man. Look at the color of that plate. That looks great. Now she's got one of them down here I saw. So look at that brisket. Where's that? Where's that? It's in money shot. Try to find. Oh, there it is. Watch this. You see is look, look at that juice coming out of there. Man, she is great. That's perfection right there. So absolutely, I'm gonna link. I don't like. I'm still, I'm linking everybody's uh, page and channel down there. So after all this is done, go down there and just click them, check them out, follow them if you like them. Cause, and I know you're going to like them. Because man, there is so much talent out there. And I can't thank you enough. I absolutely love these stickers. So thank you. Thank you, Metal Mama. We're going to definitely be putting these up on the board here in just a few minutes. Thank you very much. All right. Next one right here. I <laughs> I knew it was going to have to be something to come from Florida. Came in a big old padded envelope. Got a deer sticker on the back there, so I knew it had to be somebody from my YouTube. And it's Shannon. His name's Shannon, and he's from Swamp Stalkers Outdoors. And a buddy of mine put me onto him. He's a Tennessee deer stalker. He put me onto this guy, and man, he's got some awesome, awesome things out there. Uh, Oh man, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you see that? Look, there's my hand. I've got a big hand too. Check that out. Make sure I'm getting that in the shot there. And that's handmade right there, boy. That looks great. Look at that. I don't know if I'm going to have room on the board for these. Man, that's cool. And then you got the little decal right there Swamp Stalker Outdoors. Man, those look great, buddy. He's got me a note here. It says, sorry, I'm fresh out of Taylor Swift boxes. Thanks for the support, brother. I really appreciate it, Shannon. <laughs> the Taylor Swift boxes, 
And I might just link this channel on there for fun because it's pretty hilarious. And my uh, buddy Danny, I was talking about Tennessee uh, deer, deer stalker. He, uh, let's see if I can find it. I'll, I'll like it. But anyhow, he did a mail call. And he said, I don't know who in the world sent me this, but there's a pink box with Taylor Swift <laughs> put on the front of it. Now, you just have to know, Danny, he's an old country boy. Last thing I think he does is just sit around listening to Taylor Swift. So just to have him in that same picture with him carrying a pink Taylor Swift box was priceless, man. But, man, I'll tell you what, I thank you very much for that. And uh, let me pull him up here. All right, I got him pulled up here. Swamp Stalker Outdoor. Now, he's on YouTube. And he has got a bunch of just fishing. He's got shore, uh, everything from crappie fishing to shore fishing, gold fishing. Let's see, red fish and catfish. Man, this guy right here, he knows what he's doing. And uh, I wish I could do all that stuff. I love fishing. I just wish I just don't ever have enough time to go anymore. Uh, but if we go down to Gulf Shores, my wife's daddy lived down there in Foley. And that's about a 20 minute drive to the, the pier down there in the beach. And we do a lot of shore fishing. We do a lot of uh, pier fishing. And uh, sometimes we take those, we go out, you know, off uh we go around in the bay we're in a pontoon boat or something you know it's and that right there i don't know what it is just something about fishing in the ocean and in the, in the gulf and the bay i like it a little bit better than up here in tennessee you know tennessee you're going to catch your bass your crappie your catfish down there you just don't know what in the world you're going to catch and uh man he's got a lot of them going on down here so definitely get on there and check him out especially if you're into fishing any kind of outdoors because this guy right here he knows what he's doing and man what a decal that is the biggest one I've got so far, man. Look at that. Thank you very much. We'll get these things up here on the board here. At least one of them, probably. <laughs> hey, thank you again, man. All right. The next one we got, another one out of California, and it is Ruthless Red Devil. Now, look at these right there. Good decals right there. Look at that. Oh, had that one upside down. Check it out. Should have had that one upside down. Man, I ain't no good at this yet. Man, those look great. Now he's on Instagram. I think his name's Jeff. And uh, we've got him pulled up right here. And the first two things he's got make me extremely jealous. He's got a tri tip on there. I haven't cooked a tri tip yet. And I've been dying to. So he, look at that. He is done. An immaculate job on that and he has got tons of content he's into the sticker thing too he's got a lot of stickers there's a hey, hey there's mine appreciate the shout out man but yeah look at that pizza right there I haven't done a pizza and I haven't done a tri-tip and it's just it just goes on and on man this guy right here has got some major talent so definitely get on there and check him out He's got a lot of great stuff. And, man, I'm telling you what, I love those. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. They're going to look good on that board. All right. All right, guys. My next one's coming out of Indiana. And uh, he is on my Instagram. Another Instagram. I think my Instagram is beating my YouTube, guys. You're going to have to step it up a little bit. Uh. Here it is. Big Red Creative Cooks. It says, Dustin, thanks for the support on Instagram. Enjoy the sticker. Keep on cooking Big Red. He's even got the notepad with his letter on top with his decal on top. Looks real good. I like it a lot. And there it is. That's a cool, that's a cool sticker right there. See ya. <clears throat> so he's on Instagram, Big Red Creative Cooks. And his name says it all because that's what he's got. Look at that, there's a uh, stuffed meatball sandwich. There's more, he's into the stickers too. Yep. There's mine, appreciate the shout out. Look at that. I mean, he's got so much stuff on there. It's just content after content. Look at that burger. Now I saw something, well, there it is right there. Reverse seared black truffle ribeye. Man, how good does that look? Guys, I'm telling you what, if, Cooking was easy, everybody would do it. This guy right here, he's got it down. That looks amazing. 
So, uh, yeah, he's got about, he's almost got 500 followers on Instagram. Guys, hit him up, get him over that 500 mark, shoot, shoot him on up to a thousand. Because people, I'm telling you, these guys right here deserve it. They are putting out some major stuff. Look at those, I love those right there. Those uh, chicken lollipops, one of my favorite things. And I just started doing them that way. And I've got so much feedback on those. I've got requests to make them. We're going to, to uh, throw a party for the Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. fight. And uh, we're having a poker party, and they said, what are you cooking? I said, I don't know what you want me to cook. He said, how about some of them lollipop chicken legs? <laughs> I said, all right. So, uh, yeah, I love those. Man, this guy right here, I'm telling you, check him out. And if you're into the sticker swap, looks like he's got plenty to shoot you. So they're great. That's just, that's just a good-looking sticker right there. I love it. Hey, thank you very much, and we're going to get them up on the board. All right. All right, my next one's coming out of Washington. And this guy was one of the first ones I followed on uh, YouTube, well, and Instagram. Uh, it was Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. And he's got me a note on here that says, thanks, glad we connected, Doc. Well, Doc, man, I sure do appreciate it. Man, I watch your videos, and they're bad, man. I love them. They're great. And check out his decal, or his stickers. Look at that. That's just a perfect decal right there. Dr. Taste Good Barbecue has got all the dang... You got the chicken, the cow head, the fish, the pig, you got the mountains in the back. Those look great. He sent me four of them. <laughs> and I think I made a comment on his Instagram when he did a shout out to me because I sent him one of my stickers. And, man, I'm new to this, okay? Uh, I didn't know everybody sent out four or five stickers. Lord, I just ordered 50 the first time and they're just little bitty two inch stickers and they're die cut so they're smaller than two inch stickers. And here I am sending those out like I'm something. And people sending me these big awesome stickers right here four or five at a time i'll just shake my head when i give them i'm sorry all right i'm new i'll do better next time i promise but dr taste good barbecue he puts out some great stuff now <laughs> this last video he put out on youtube let me try to put it i just commented on it the other day here it is the slop dog redemption now he's got that one of those little uh you get your hot dog you put them in the freezer for a little bit before or the, yeah i think it's the freezer up about 10 minutes or so before you cook them you press down on them and it give those hot dogs a little design they've been great they just i don't really know if it's gonna help the taste it <laughs> but it might help get the condiments down in there better but it just looks great so he did a video of it there he is right there let's see yeah but he's got a lot of good stuff out there <laughs> i just really enjoy watching him cook he just i just like it he's got the big yoder and i think he's got a picture on his instagram same name dr taste good barbecue and uh he's got that big yoder man that's impressive right, right here look at those grilled pineapples you can't beat grilled pineapples i love them he's got some stickers and here's what i was talking about he's got all those stickers on his grill right there and that little bitty one down there in the corner Yes, sir. That's yours truly. Look at them compared to the rest of them. It makes me ah, makes me just a little bit ashamed, <laughs> but I can't help it. They're still cool. It's still fun to do, but uh, I will definitely do better next order. But yeah, he's just got tons and tons of stuff. There's that Yoder. Look at that. I think it's bad, man. I love that. That's a beast. So yes, sir. Guys, get on there. Check him out. Like I said, he was one of the first ones I started following on YouTube and uh, Instagram great cook very very talented so get on there give him a little support check him out much appreciated all right the last one i got today is from california again and it's from rick's barbecue and specialties now this guy right here he sent me a note that says hello brother thanks for the sub and good luck on your channel rick now this guy right here man i'm telling you what is one of the most knowledgeable people i've met on youtube or instagram He's got his own food truck business. He, he has got it going on. He is an amazing cook, and we have something major in common there. He uses those suckle but He's sponsored by, sponsored by Suckle Busters, and uh, that's the only rubs I use, guys. And he, I mean, it's for good reason. They are absolutely amazing. All the rubs are great. I haven't tried any rub that I haven't liked from him. So he does a lot of cooks with Suckle Busters. He, uh, on his YouTube channel, he does a whole lot of lives. And right there is what impressed me is just listening to him answer the questions people are throwing at him and he don't have to think about it. he knows i mean he knows his barbecue so i'm really i'm really happy i hooked up with him on here 
and started talking to him because I, I just I really enjoy talking to him and I like his channel all of his videos he puts out so um, he's got a YouTube he's got Instagram he's got Pinterest he's and uh, he's got a Facebook but check out these decals now these decals not for his channel but for his food truck look at those man those look great that's a good he, what he sent me one two he sent me three of them look at that that is a good looking decal right there I can't wait to have it up on my board he also sent out he's got some business cards you know it's got all of his uh, social media on the back I'm going to be putting a link to all of his social media so be sure to check him out and I'm telling you if that's one person I think you everybody needs to follow he's, he's got I don't know how many subscribers on YouTube but he's got a lot and uh, he deserves every one of them. He deserves a whole lot more because this guy right here is pretty awesome. Uh, now he's got all sorts on his you'll, you know, on his videos. You'll see he's got every kind of grill or smoker you can think of. He's got videos on how he cleaned his black stone. And there's his chicken legs wrapped in bacon on his Weber. And I'm telling you what, pulled spam. Now he <laughs> now on his Instagram, I remember seeing that one. Let's see, the first one I saw right there. Don't that look good? That's a pulled spam burger. And his, I mean, his Instagram is just stacked, guys. Just stacked, one after another. There's Suckle Busters. So, just all the way down. And this guy right here is freaking awesome. He deserves all the support he can get. So, uh, <clears throat> be sure to go ahead and check down in my descriptions. Look at everybody's link. Click on everybody's link. Give them a follow. Give them a like. I'm going to post a link to my instagram account too and i'm gonna tag everybody in it so be sure to be on the lookout for that guys so that was my last one so let's go ahead and get these things on the board all right let's get it all right let's see the first one i got was small town texas barbecue let's get this one on here Black pit barbecue going up. I'm gonna use this hologram one. I think those are just cool. Let's put him down here beside crew grill and there's another hologram one. Okay. Yes sir. Perfect spot. <laughs> then we got my char griller. Buddy, I hope you're staying safe up there around them fires. I know in that last video you said you can pretty much smell the thing, so I don't know how it's going today, but I sure hope you're staying safe. And uh, praying for you, man. So when you start watching these guys on YouTube and everything, I Instagram, you really start connecting a little bit with them and you start, heck, you start worrying about them. Let's go right here under the hand. Right. Check that out. Next, we're going to go with Metal Mama. We're going to use that die cut. I like those die cuts too. Pretty wild. Right over here under. Yeah. Good. We got the ruthless red devil. guys let me know who you use for your stickers I used a uh, sticker you and they were pretty good you know they was a little a little long on the ship and uh, about a week it passed their estimated date but you know the stickers were good quality I was happy with them just uh, so looking into different people to use 
So if you got a good uh, sticker supplier, be sure to leave it in the comments. I sure would like to know. Right, next we're going to go with the Big Red Creative Cooks. I think I see the perfect spot for it. Perfect. That looks good there. Meant to be. All right, next we got Rick's barbecue and specialties. I'm gonna put his food truck sticker right up here. That board looking great. I'm loving it. Now we're going to go with Mr. Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. Get him up on the board. Perfect. Now for the challenge, old Swamp Stalker. We're gonna try to get you, get your logo sticking right there on the bottom part. And I know you said in that comment you think that oval one might be a better. I don't know. I want to take a chance. I like this one. I think this will look pretty good if I can get it to stick. You made it from a cricket. My wife's into the cricket thing too. You gotta press down on all these little things individually. Rip that tape off. Look at that. Shoot yeah. I hope that's straight. Looks straight. All right, man. Now that looks good. Well, guys, there it is. And I can't thank you enough because this right here has been pretty fun. And I've still got a long ways to go. I want to fill this board up and I want to have to get another one. So keep them coming, please. My P.O. box is going to be in my description. It's also there on my about page on my YouTube. And uh, man, these are some great looking stickers. And I'm looking forward to next Thursday already. So, hey, this is Dustin from Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. And thank you again, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.